Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times with Scar here, and welcome back to the wonderful worlds of Hermits of Crafting. And we're here at Scar's Frontier Outpost, getting ready to finish up our train with passenger cars and a caboose. That's right, we're gonna build a wonderful caboose, which I'm quite excited about. All right, so let's take a quick land here and let's look at our train from our previous episode, looking absolutely wonderful. But you might notice right off the bat, that train has a face. That is right, the wonderful Joe Hills and I were recording a video for him and he just out of the blue was like, we need to put an observer block on there because we're gonna make this have a face and I absolutely love it. And uh, I think <laughs> it's the silliest thing ever, but it's wonderful, it's absolutely wonderful. So I was thinking, you know, a light on the front that turned on and off at night, but uh, that, my friends, is perfect. But let's take a quick look at the rest of the train. Now, I did make one mistake um, in our last episode, and I realized it the second I finished, and that was that this section up here, see how the spout is coming down for water? The water technically does not go through that area. It actually goes into this back section back here where the water's stored and or wood and stuff like that. That would be like coal, wood, or water. Um, so yeah, I realized that right off the bat. I was like, wait a second. That's not where the water goes. <laughs> oh, but anyway, I think it's still pretty cool. Now, as you guys remember, I was still trying to decide what wood to do up there. I'm still going back and forth and kind of monitoring to see what you guys are thinking of that. Um, I'm going to continue to check out the uh, the videos, the last two videos, just to get your guys' opinions on which one you guys like best because I'm totally open for other wood choices. The issue is... I just don't know what other ones are any that good, I think is my biggest issue with choosing, you know, a different color because if we add birch, like I said before, Iskull's just going to come and take down it because he hates birch. <laughs> I don't know if he really would do that, but it's just a, it's a struggle because I mean, I'm not the hugest fan of birch either. So, hmm, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of an issue. And I'm trying to decide on what color would be best for the glass for our passenger trains. So we have a couple choices here. We can work with a little bit of white glass, which is nice, but sometimes the white glass is a little too cloudy, if you will. Um, so I think the better alternative is to do a nice gray. Now doing, I don't know, I feel like that might even be a little too dark. Why don't we move into the light gray? And I think that is actually truly the best Minecraft glass is the light gray followed up by cyan. But uh, like I said before, I think the light gray is the perfect choice. Now the reason being, let's uh, put these guys side by side. If you do something like this, it just has a natural feel to it. Whereas if we were to go with a biome, bring in a little bit of the white, it's a little, it's a little too bright, which is great for some applications, but but for our purposes today, I feel like out in the West, the, the glass is kind of dirty. It's kind of, you know, roughed up a little bit. So I think the gray will be our choice. And we're flying over to the Brown District because I have determined that shulker box hunting, going and retrieving shulker boxes, is not within my skill set. So I have found that it is easier and safer to buy shulker boxes and go mine for diamond than it is to go to the end, lose all my stuff and come out with nothing. So it's far easier to go mining for diamond and buy shulker boxes than it is to go look for them on my own. So that is what we're going to do. I'm just ready to clear out this entire place full of their shulker boxes. And there we go. <laughs> Oh, I, Jevin, you are now rich and just very powerful with all of those Scar Diamonds. Those are the purest of all diamonds. They come from the Scar Mines. In the last episode of Hermitcraft, I completely forgot to show you the deliveries that we received from the one and the only Derp. And let's look at truly one of, I believe, the greatest deliveries Derp has ever done. And that is the rarest of all mobs in Minecraft. That's right, the rarest. There isn't no Herobrine, but there is a zombie creeper. That's right, we have been delivered a zombie creeper. Look at this beautiful creature. And he is now the camp's chef. So he's serving up apparently Impulse's head. And he has got his little butcher's knife there. And of course, he's got the creeper head. And if you look closely, he's also got a very, very long tongue. <laughs> Oh, that is the greatest thing of all time. Those guys, I truly don't know what I would do without them. Look at this. 
They bring so much life to my base with all of their wonderful deliveries, but let's take a look at the other delivery, which is the Ticket Taker. And welcome back to the platform, and that zombie was moonwalking or something there. Let's turn our corner here and into the station where we built our beautiful interior, and as you can see, that is our brand new mob delivered from Derp, and his name is Dickwit. <laughs> so apparently these are nitwits, and they're unable to trade, so the poor fella had no job, so I'm like, I'll hire him, he can do tickets. He has been filling that role perfect, and if you look back at old, like, Old West things, they always had, like, this, like, dark green vest so it's totally perfect for this i can't be any more happy with the delivery so this is what i've got for you guys i need you to help me come up with something really cool to do for them as a payment because they blew it out of the park with these amazing deliveries and i don't know what to do i i, I don't know what they want i mean both of them are so established on the server they've got a lot so we got to think of something really fun and really special we can give them for this delivery so I need your guys' help in this, so in the comments, let me know what we should pay Derp. Let's get started with this train. So I'm starting to get out some of the materials we are going to use for this project, and I'm trying to think of anything else I need. Definitely nothing from that box. Um, Yeah, I think we're gonna start with this. Let me jump back over here, and I'm gonna make a quick set of smooth stone stairs because I don't think I have any of those. And I'm gonna need some for the back. So I'm gonna need a couple sets of those. Maybe let's make one more set of those. Beautiful, wonderful, awesome, and bam, like so. I think that is perfect. All right, we've got everything lined up. And what I think I can do is fit three passenger trains on this set of our rail, which is unfortunate because I'd hope to fit more. Plus this is a slightly shrunken down version of it, but I think it still retains the same character and I think it'll look awesome anyway. Um, also, I got a really fun caboose idea. It's gonna be kind of amazing. So let's dive right into it. Um, first thing we're gonna do is cut this out. Oh, did I wanna do this? Yeah, I wanted to. Uh, I'm gonna leave this one and I'm gonna leave this one. This'll just help me kind of mark out the territory and let me grab in some of my wheels. There we go. All right, so what I'm gonna do for this one, so if this is stone, so if this is gonna be a stone stair and this is going to be a solid block right here and then it transitioned into a wheel. Okay, all right, all right, I think I got it. I think I got it, I think I got it. So like I said before, um, for this, I've, I've mocked some of this out in uh, Creative World. So just kind of gauging kind of how the size will work because for this style of build, very important to kind of mock it out, of course, because we're fitting in so many things like a train inside the middle of this, we're fitting it on track, all of those little things. So planning is incredibly important when you're working uh, with this style build a bit because you really want everything to kind of flow together and come out nicely. So as you can see, we're starting to kind of bring these together. I'm gonna swoop on back over here. Remove. Oh, well, I, I kind of needed you here. Kind of needed you, my friend. I'm gonna have you go all the way across there. There you go. And I'm gonna bring these guys across like so and then bam, like that. And let's jump back and kind of see how we're looking. Okay, I'm happy with that. I know this kind of looks kind of boring and I agree with you. So we're gonna see if we can uh, uh, fix this up a little bit. So we're gonna be working with some pretty heavy dark woods. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is a lot of passenger trains that I at least researched and did a little bit of research on, um, which I should have done more research on the on the water situation, but I think, I think we've uh, figured that out pretty well. So this is one, two, three, Oh, that's four. There we go. Uh, I think that's high enough. That, that gives it pretty good substantial kind of like height. I think that's good. So yeah, a lot of the trains were kind of like of a, a darker kind of dark wood. I think they're really trying to go for, you know, a really elegant passenger train feeling. So I think that is perfect for that. So we're gonna put that like that. And so this kind of makes up one section of the train. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna transition into, let's see, now we're gonna go one, two, three, like a so, and then we're going to bring this guy up one set. So that's again up to four like that, beautiful. Yeah, yeah, I think that's coming out. I think that's coming out. Um, so then we're going to take these guys and we're gonna bring them to there, awesome. Oh, this is coming out wonderful. So let's take this and we're gonna place that like so. There we go, awesome. And then, of course, we're going to take this, place it like that, and then these guys. Okay, I'm getting the feelings now. I'm getting the feelings. Everything's working out. I'm super happy about it. So let's jump back over here, and we're going to quickly take this and turn it into some nice glass panes because for some reason, I always forget to do the glass panes. I mean, it's the best solution because, as you can see, you get that nice depth of field or right there. You get that nice bit of depth um, right there, depth of field. I've got photography things on my mind. Um, are we out of stairs? Uh, yes, we are. 
but now we are not. There we go, looking good. Okay, all right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna try to create a little bit of a canopy. So we're gonna drop down some stairs like so. Oh, there's always one in the group, isn't there? <laughs> there's always that one guy, you know? He just doesn't want to, doesn't want to do what everyone else is doing. There we go, put that across there like that. And yeah, I'm happy with that. All right, so I'm gonna drop all these down, grab out some of our dirt and work our way up. So yeah, I think this is coming out. And like we talked about in our last episode, my love of trains, <laughs> my love of trains. Uh, this whole project has been such a fun thing because um, like I said, I like trains, like trains are, trains are awesome. Um, so this has been a really fun, fun little project to really kind of use my imagination and to really kind of push it to see kind of where we can go uh, with this design and trying to create believable environments there's just such a fun thing to do in Minecraft uh, Are you guys the same way like when you are working with say, you know Maybe a village or maybe something that's resembles something in the real world that we would Understand or know in our world and we're kind of translating that into a Minecraft world and still try to retain that Minecraft character I think that's the key when trying to create stuff like this is we're also trying to make it believable in the world of Minecraft that's say why I did with the pistons because the pistons kind of have that wood kind of front piece it kind of feels like a wheel and then kind of some mechanical parts in the back with the cobble and uh, that's kind of some of the reasoning at least that I put into this and it's it's fun to think of like reasoning slightly when you're doing this is to fail because I just totally made a huge scar mistake <laughs> oh no Oh, uh, I meant to make this whole section across here one block wider outwards. So this section was actually parallel with this piece of track. Scar fail, fixed and ready to roll once again. I'm sorry about that, but we've got it fixed up now and we're ready to go. So this truly has been the day of the scar fail. Or it's not so much that I made any fails, but it's just been one of those days that is uh, just super stressful and I wouldn't be surprised if there's more scar fails, but jumping on YouTube has just improved my mood 110%. And that's why I'm just always so grateful to have this opportunity to make videos and, and make stuff for you guys that hopefully you guys enjoy, but also just, I, I always hope that these things are something that, that maybe does what it does for me, and that is a stress reliever, a way of kind of shutting out the outside world and just enjoying the wonderful worlds of Minecraft or and or playing a coaster or any other game. Uh, just for a little while, um, because that's why I do this. That's why I love it, is these uh, moments where we can just spend some time in here and, and just enjoy our company together and making stuff and talking about different things. And uh, that's 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 why I, that's like the main reason I do this. Like, I just love the ability to just jump on and just create something, create a train and then create a video out of it. That's something that, that people can enjoy. And like I said before, hopefully, uh, makes their day a little bit better or at least a little bit more enjoyable if they were having a hard day um, So that's that's what that's what I that's what I take from these videos is just the a few minutes of peace and just Enjoying the day and trying to create something there's always been something in me That's just always loved to create something no matter what no matter what like this this the oh man Did I do another scar fail? <laughs> what did I do wrong here? Help me. I need some help um Let's see, what did I do? Okay, I think it wasn't that bad. I'm just gonna chalk this down to a scar mistake. That's a that's a lesser of the scar uh, fail regime. You know, there's a scar fail and there's a scar mistake. I think that was just a scar mistake. A scar fail, I believe, is something that you just kind of have to completely redo. That was my fear back in the day when we were working on the roller coaster. I was always very, very scared we were going to make a fail because of the complexity of the station that we were building. Like there was a lot of detail in that. And if I was like a block off, we would have just been in a pickle. <laughs> it would have been terrible. It would have been catastrophic, if you will. So um, I was always so diligent when it came to planning that out, making sure everything was up to code, because if there was something amiss, Boy, it would have been a disaster. So putting some final touches on here, and I always say this, but gates are the most underutilized thing in Minecraft. They create such a unique and immersive detail in builds, and they're so rarely used. Look at that. It just looks like a little extra detail holding up the shade awnings over the windows, and I think that looks really cool. Now for the interior, that's what I gotta start to think about. Give me a few minutes. I'm gonna start thinking about what we could do for this interior.
and welcome back so we're just working on the final touches of the build and there we go looking good so where is it there you are there's my cobblestone so i'm gonna put my cobblestone in here like so and then let's scaffold back down and i think that is looking super good now one area that's gonna drive me crazy is this transition right here between the stone and the wood and I'm trying to think of an alternative to do in this section because that little connecting texture right there is not my cup of tea. I do not like that at all. Uh, there's just something about when textures connect like that, I just get like the shivers. I don't, <laughs> I don't know why, but uh, I just don't like it when they do. Anyway, all right, so we are in the interior and I'm trying to think of some ideas for in here. So. Hmm, what if, what if, what if? How would you be willing to sell the display bottle in your shop? That's gotta be the Elytra. I paid 20 diamonds, ooh. I, Jevin, I just sold like your entire shop out. You've got the diamonds, <laughs> you've got the diamonds. So what if we took out these guys, maybe put them like this. So these are kind of the seats of the train, like going in here. I haven't really thought about the interiors too much because I've been so concerned about the exterior. So yeah. I think this could be cool. Let's jump out and take, <laughs> can we reach? Oh, we totally can. We're like jumper, pro oh, Never mind. now I have obstacles. What is this, Mario? <laughs> what is this like, this is totally Mario. Speaking of Mario, speaking of it, I just saw on the interwebs, that's right, on the interwebs, I saw that the, uh, let's see, I think it's Universal Studios in Japan is getting a brand new world all completely surrounding Nintendo universe. And I thought that's really cool because we've never really had a video game presence in theme parks. And I think this could be like a really, really cool kind of change. Uh, next thing I would like to do is maybe just run a strip of carpeting down the uh, middle of this. Next thing also, maybe some nice lanterns. Uh, oh, that's right, Minecraft doesn't have any lanterns. Do you guys remember back in maybe alpha beta time, Notch had said that he wanted to create lanterns that were powered because of like glow dust. Like glow dust would be their power source and it would do away with torches. Torches would only be used for short periods of lighting. So if you put down a torch, it would eventually bitter out or whatever. And you would then be result in just a stick. And you would have a lantern, which would then require constant feeding of glow dust. That's amazing. Do you guys want that back? <laughs> or do you want that idea ever implemented? Because it kind of sounds kind of cool to me anyway. I don't know. I want to hear from you guys what you guys think about that. Because having lanterns in here would be kind of amazing. And welcome back. And one awesome thing to do to add more depth to a build or any extra bits of detail is when you go through thresholds, add like a stair right there. Look at how it separates this area from the inside. Isn't that cool? Anyway, um, in this little spot right here, I was thinking we could put something like that, but that's like totally in that passenger's face. And I don't think they would be all about that. But I also thought a spruce fence would look kind of cool, but yeah, that doesn't look that great. But what would I think look nice is if we put this down like that and then put that there and then we have like a million choices. But uh, I love this simple little design like that. I think that comes out cool. Now, maybe that's a little too heavy on the item frames. So potentially we could scale them back and put some other things in their place, like maybe on the kind of wide couches in the center, we could kind of, hmm, maybe we could even separate these. I wonder, I kind of like them big. I just kind of like this nice bench seating across here. I think actually looks kind of nice. Why don't we check this real quick? Also this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start placing these guys along here like so, and just a little bit of carpet in here. It just kind of helps add some more depth. And this kind of reminds me of the Lily Bell at Disneyland. Never been in it, but I've seen lots of pictures. Um, if you don't know what the Lily Bell is, it is a passenger car in the back of the train. It's kind of like the VIP train car or something along those lines. And it's named after, of course, uh, Walt Disney's wife. And it doesn't come around very often or more so now. Uh, back in the day, I think they'd like taken it off the line and like rotten out. It was all like termite infested. Uh, but then they spent like a fortune refurbished it for the 50th anniversary. And now I think it's actually out more often now. I think that's a really cool interior. That, that makes me happy. I'm really happy with the way that came out. And I think that looks really nice. So next thing we need to do is make two more of those and then we can work on our compass. Compass? No, Scar. It's a caboose. Not a compass. It's a caboose. And flying above, as you can see, we now have three passenger cars ready to roll, which I'm very excited about. Now on this back end, it is time 
to build a caboose. That is right, it is time to build a caboose. So I made some modifications in this area to allow us to build the caboose. I've actually moved this entire archway back about three blocks because it would not clear the caboose. So we've got that set. Now I wanna show you guys just a couple other alterations I've made on the train. Now, some of these things are very, very subtle and things you wouldn't necessarily pick up on. And that's really the point about very small details is you actually don't want people to really pick up on them. You just want them to be there because they feel right. And in this area, that's what I've done in this spot. Remember before, we just had some straight blocks like that. And what I've done here is I've just kind of rounded them off a little bit. Just see how that adds that extra piece of depth there. And I think that looks really, really nice. Now, sometimes this doesn't always work out to the best. So as you can see, I've added an extra slab here and there. And I just was kind of playing around just seeing how that looks. But I think I'm going to reverse it and go back to the original design. And then the final thing was, remember we had a connected texture, we had the slabs up here. And so what I did was just add an extra piece of the dark oak right there. And I think that looks so much better. No connected textures, everything feels right. And let's get started. So we're going to be working with Acacia. That is right. My first build ever using Acacia. Now, there's just no real good options when it comes to using anything red related because, you know, cabooses on a train are generally red. So actually, I found a few rust, very orangey rust color ones. So that's where I was like, OK, Acacia is going to be perfect then. <laughs> so I think it'll all work out in the end. So I'm just trying to kind of plan this out. I'm actually going to kick out that wheel there because I'm not sure how this is all going to lay out here. So from here to there, it is 11 blocks of these slabs that I put down. So I'm just not sure where the wheel is in the end going to face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this piece off like so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to round it like that. Oh, hello. Come on around. Oh, well, I butchered that. <laughs> I really goofed this up. Let me fix it. There we go. Awesome. All right. So let's grab out some of these acacia wood planks. And I'm, I know, guys, you're like, oh, Scott, they're so ugly. I know, I know, I know, but you, you, we're all going to be okay. We're all going to be okay. All right. And then we're going to work this up maybe two more blocks like that. Okay. Okay. I'm feeling it. Um, I might push this down. Yeah. I'm going to remove that block right there. I think that looks nice. I might put a half slab right there. I think that would be nice. Just a subtle little overlap down there might look. Oh yes. That's what we, that's what we're looking for. That is what we are looking for. And then two blocks going down like that. Okay. Hmm. All right. Where do we go from here? Where do we go from here? What I think we're going to do is we're going to kick our bows out. There we go. And I'm going to work it this way. OK, so what I want to do is I want to do two windows here. Looking at reference pictures, they usually had some small windows and then an upper kind of cab area up at the top, a way of seeing over the rest of the cars, making sure everything was all working as intended. So if I do this and I kick in another stair right about there, bring that like that. Looking good, looking good, looking good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in our block like that. And then for the now on, I'm going to bring these probably maybe three blocks this way and then do a, a stair or a full block right there. Looking good. I'm happy with that. Quite, quite happy with that. OK, and then I'm going to jump up there. Looking good. So I'm trying to think of any other areas in here we can add some more detail, but I can already see this coming together very, very nicely. Now, this section right here could definitely use a little something. And what I'm going to do actually is make two little windows like that. Yeah, they don't have any glass in them. But look at that. It's just two small little windows right there. And I think that looks really nice. And is there a spy? Oh, oh, I forgot there's an invisible spider in there. I'm like, does anybody else hear a spider? <laughs> oh, OK, that makes sense. All right, let me do the backside. And welcome back. And we're putting the final touches here. So what we're going to work on on the top is kind of getting the roof and that little bit of a lookout tower right there. So I'm giving this one more try. Remember how we added these extra little slabs right there? I wanted to see what the whole train looked like with them on. And uh, then we'll kind of see if that is something we want to keep or not. So I'm going to, oh, are we out of these? Oh, perfect. We have enough. Ooh, I was kind of worried there for a second. Let's see. I'm going to go right here and do one more row along that piece. And what I'm going to do, hmm, I think I'm going to do one more set right there. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is we're going to try to create that little bit of a lookout piece there. I'm going to go two blocks upwards like this. And I know this is going to look a little bit ugly here, so we're going to try to make this look as best we can. So then let me think about this for a second. Hmm, I think what we're going to do is we're going to take down some of these blocks. And you know what? If this doesn't look good, you know what we're going to do? 
you guessed it, tear it down, because that's the thing in Minecraft, you can't be fearing, you cannot be fearing, because if you have to, you can always tear it back down. <laughs> I mean, I do tear down a lot of builds, believe me. So, I think this will look cool if we can just get everything to look right. So I'm gonna put these blocks here along there and then pull this up one more block high. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out, mm, I don't know, I don't think that would look right. I'm gonna leave that there for now. Unless, unless, let me try something. Let me see if this will work. Let me put this right there. Bam! Yes, that's it. That's our ticket right there. I think that looks great. Okay, these little sections here, I would love to do a little something right here. Hmm, but what's the, what do we do? Oh, I know, I know, I know. I'm gonna take a stone brick and just put it right there. We have another little window. Oh, it's so cute. It's just a little window. Uh, then put one more right there. Oh, that's, that's so, that's just, I can't, can't think of anything better than that. All right, let's do the other one right there. And I think, my friends, that we are nearing completion on this. I think, oh, wait, there we go. Ha <laughs> ha, there we go. All right, so let's jump back down and look at that thing. <gasps> it's adorable, isn't it? Look at that thing. You, you can't go wrong. That's totally a caboose. Looking absolutely amazing. Oh, I love it. All right. I, I mean, come on. Come on. I mean, yes, it's acacia wood, but tell me that does not look like a caboose. It's amazing. All right. Let me put the final touches on this thing and I'll meet you guys in just one second. And you thought that this caboose couldn't get any better. Look what we just got here. I think this looks amazing. It's a little stove, like a little wood burning stove. So I checked my reference photos and especially the older cabooses had these wood burning stoves in it so that the conductors can during the journey you know head back here and uh, kind of rest warm up during the journey and of course the little lookout tower in the back I've uh, checked them and some of them are forward some of them are, are in the middle and I think where we have it is a perfect spot and I'm very 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 happy with that got the wheels down there ready to roll and there we go our train our train it's complete and I'm so excited I'm Ah, I'm just so excited that this has all come out and I'm so very happy with it all and I hope you guys have enjoyed here. Also, I'm still contemplating uh, wood colors over here and especially canopy colors. We're probably going to really work on that on Twitch over the weekend. So definitely, definitely follow me on Twitter so you'll be notified when I go live. It's the, truly the best place to get notified when i uploading videos or going live on Twitch and all those wonderful things. We're going to change up this a little bit, I think. So we're also going to put myself in there as as the engineer and maybe we need a fireman who we need that who could that be and then of course we have our passenger cars looking absolutely wonderful up oh, <laughs> actually brought ender pearls this time look at me I'm becoming a pro um, as you guys can see the interiors are looking absolutely incredible let's switch over to this one now once again on twitch we're gonna work on the interior of this and I think it's gonna be absolutely amazing and like I said isn't it so cute <laughs> anyway, this has just been so much fun. I mean, this has been one of my favorite projects, and I really do hope you guys have enjoyed and was inspired for your own Minecraft builds and potentially your own railroad stations and trains. So until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar, and I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos, and if you believe the videos are the rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later.